Thanks for checking out this video. Don't forget, like and subscribe. You know, the other thing, speaking of Randy, in this particular segment here, if you ever go to a live WWE show, you realize how tiny these women actually are. I mean, somebody was talking about, um, what's the uh, wrestler in NXT? The new one? <laughs> it's got, like the wrestling background. Kendall Gray? Kendall Gray. Kendall Gray. The, the, what? I'm the, like, who's the wrestler in NXT? I'm talking the actual, the amateur. She had an amateur background. But Kendall Gray, you know, she's she's got so much potential. And people keep going, yeah, well, she's small. <laughs> it's like, they're all small. Like, yes. what are you talking about? Do you realize how small virtually all of these? And the one that really stood out to me here was Tiffany. Like, Tiffany's jacked up because she's a gymnast. So I think that people have this idea that she's, like, taller than she is. She is so short. And she was wearing these gigantic gigantic heels and she was still like three inches shorter than bailey with the heels on she's probably like ray mysterio's size and uh you know they they they're just all this, this yeah, Kendall, Nile, she is Alexa not five eight she's not even close to five eight who tiffany this this kendall gray yeah is mm -hmm. from las vegas qualified for the boys state wrestling tournament yeah as a female. Yeah. She's, well, quite, she's great. Quite credentialed. I haven't seen her yet. Well, yeah, you, she did jujitsu. She did every sport under the sun. She did wrestling. And like, if is, you watch her in NXT, if you just watch her move, it's like, holy smokes, this this woman. Well, her and, what, Mensa Stock are having a match, right, on Level Up. Is that the... Is that the one that everyone said is, like, one of the best wait U.S. Minute. women's matches they signed the year? I'm going to watch. Wait, Tamira Mensa Stock is actually into a match? She's been training? I think they gave her a new name. Did, did, did they not? Uh, I mean, okay. If they just let her story out there. No, they'll change which, her name. Yeah. yeah. She's a star already. I've been over they this 50 times. should change the damn thing about her. Are you kidding Ty me? Tyra May Steele. Is that her name? Yes. Okay. I am one second away from throwing this mic at the Don't computer. do it, dude. I've done this enough. I've done it enough. It's stupid. <laughs> it's acknowledged. It's what? stupid. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, didn't you hear my rant about Kalani Jordan, where they actually did a Kalani Jordan video package, where they had all of this footage of her doing gymnastics and everything like that, but they, they took her name and they changed it to Kalani Jordan, even though that's not actually her name. So, like, if you type, you know, Kalani Jordan, uh, U.S. Gymnast, it's like it won't come up. So people think that's, like, she's fake, but she's actually real. You couldn't just use her actual name. Lola and don't tell me, don't tell me that they can't like you know trademark people's names. That's what they do. Yes. If if I showed, if I signed a contract as Brian Alvarez, and they wanted me to wrestle as Brian Alvarez, they would trademark Brian Alvarez for use in wrestling when I was there. But then when I left, I could be Brian Alvarez again. But the point is, they would still trademark the name. You don't have to change the name to trademark it for usage when you're there. But yes, they changed Mensa Stock's name. Well, I mean, Lola Vice fought on national TV. <laughs> Did she not? Change I mean, Lola Vice's name? And again, it's a great wrestling name, but why they had to do it, I don't know. Andrade took on Carmelo Hayes. These two, I mean, I will say I thought this was maybe, I guess, the weakest match of the ones they've had. It was good live. Still damn good. Yeah, the people were into it. Yeah, the finish with the message off the second rope, that was fantastic. And another good match. Like I said, I believe this was number five. They the were they were done now? they were two and two. Yeah, this inv we don't even know. I was well. I won't say, <laughs> but uh, well, that's the thirteen. And Andrade won. It was a great match. L.A. Knight came out, cut a promo, told him he's next to lose to him. Jade and Bianca were cutting a promo. Backstage. They did show Teddy Long. I mentioned him earlier. He looks younger today than he did when he was with Doom. It's amazing. Yeah. Jade and Bianca cut a promo backstage. Naya and Tiffany showed up, and essentially Naya threatened them both. So it seems as if, I don't know if they're bringing it singles matches with them. Naya's already beaten both of them, as she said. Maybe Naya and Tiffany 
are going to face them for the tag titles in a program to eat up some time. Is there Not any shot sure. that Naomi pins Tiffany, which would send her to Raw with her boyfriend since they usually like doing that? That is, that is what I presume is going to happen. And that mean, and But that I don't know why. Well, I mean, why did we Nia. build up this Nia thing with Tiffany for months to just well, like have her go she, to the other brand? When she cashes I think, in, she can still do it on her. I think Bailey's losing. I don't know. It was a very weird out of nowhere. Bailey goes to NXT? No, come on. (laughs) No, I'll take that. I'll take Bailey. Yes, Doom was 35 years ago, and he looks younger today than he did 35 years ago with Doom. Moisturized. It's mostly shave your head and get the teeth fixed is what happened. uh, Main event. (laughs) Main event segment of SmackDown. (laughs) Well, it's not his moisturizer. God. What? It's good genetics. The whole black don't crack. Come on now. If See, Steve that's why Austin, going to be invited if to Steve the Austin still had that moisturizer. bald eagle mullet and it was gray, he'd look forty years older than he does right now because he just <laughs> shaved his head. Yes. Yes, Will Sasso is a young-looking guy, right? But <laughs> he just just because he have what a are bald you head? talking about? What are you talking about? God, go ahead. <laughs> The guy looks good because he's head, bald head, and, and he's yes. <laughs> Charles Barkley, young looking man. Yes. No, listen, you you numbskull. Yes, Steve Austin, ahead. okay. Steve Austin in 1996 shaved his balding head. Mm-hmm. Okay, so he was a bald man with a goatee. That's all he had. Okay, he can look like that virtually until death. Okay, if he had long blonde flowing hair. You know, and it starts to fall out. That he's going to be six years old. He's going to be bald with gray. He's going to look like the guy from Back to the Future. And he's not going to look as young as he does now. Oh, what are you talking Why about? Why do I have to explain this he to you? He could go to AEW and hang out with your new favorite tag team of all time and become tag team champions because that's what they should do, right? No. What are you talking about? Oh, you about? want the Outrunners to be tag team champions? I thought well, I you do, said that. but I don't not? want them to change their look because it's uh. perfect for the gimmick. You're a gimmick. No, I'm telling you exactly. No, you're a gimmick. Go ahead. Well, from one team of mega powers to another here in the main event segment of SmackDown, Roman Reigns came out. He said whether he has the Ula Fala or not, he's the tribal chief. He's not the original tribal chief. He's the only tribal chief, and this is his WWE Cody Rhodes took exception to this. He showed up, told him that it was his WWE, but it hasn't been since WrestleMania. They look like they're about to come to blows with each other. Solo and Jacob Fatu emerge from the back. The rest of the bloodline attack, but Cody and Roman lay out the tag team champions. Roman takes the contract that Nick Aldis had handed him at the beginning of this segment. He signs it. Cody stares at him, finally extends his hand. Roman reluctantly gives him the contract, and he signs it as well. So at Bad Blood, it'll be Solo Sokoa, Jacob Fatu, take it on the, as christened by Brian Alvarez, new mega powers of That's Roman right, Reigns the new and mega Cody powers. Rhodes. Roman, I thought Roman was fantastic here. Came off great as a guy who really does not want the help of the man who defeated him. And, I mean, as a man... Why would you? But this is the monster that he essentially created. I was going to say, because four guys knows, are beating you up. He knows he needs that help. So I thought he was fantastic throughout the show. And we've got a big, big tag match ahead at Bad Blood. You know whose help he does want? Paul Heyman's, because people keep pointing out every time Roman comes out, he does that look around like he used to do when Paul was there. So at some point, the wise well, man's got to be coming back here. I think they're waiting until the Bloodline 2.0 gets their manager back, Giotto. You know, I got to say, uh, getting back on track here, that I watched this show, the first half hour commercial free, the return of Roman Reigns, Cody and Rock teaming up together, and overall, I thought, quite great show. I keep saying Rock. Anyway, the point is, I think it's going to break 2 million. And we're going to find out soon. Back in a moment, Observer Live. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that notify button and you'll never miss a video again.